Hey, good top of the morning to you guys. This is uh, old school preaching from the Word of God, guys. I hope you're having a great day. I hope uh, today, you got to understand that today is the day of the shortest day of the year. It's the day that the Earth's orbit around the sun. Uh, it's the zodiac. Uh, you know, guys, and, and modern worship, guys, in the old days, an obelisk, uh, what we have in Washington, D.C., guys, people used to uh, set up uh, pillars. And this is how they would worship the sun god Baal. Um, again, guys, uh, the Bible tells us uh, regarding the end times that uh, uh, that the, the, the church would bring in doctrines of demons. Uh, remember, guys, Christmas is an Illuminati holiday. Um, it's really the worship of Baal, the same worship that caused the children of Israel. You know, remember, guys, the obelisk right here, as you see, guys, that's right there at uh, the Vatican. Um, an obelisk was used to worship the sun. If you look, notice in the background behind that, you'll see um, the worship of uh, the celestial sun. You know, today is the shortest day of the year. You know, guys, an obelisk. Uh, was usually in front of a temple, um, a monument unto the worship of the sun. It was typically had a pyramid-like shape at the top. Um, the Bible tells us, again, uh, and the pyramid was the emblem of the sun god of the Egyptians' Ra. Like this, the obelisk was made for, for the sun god. Then why are the obelisk the symbol of sun worship? set up in front of the Catholic churches, you might ask yourself. You know, guys, when we look carefully at the obelisk standing in front of the Catholic church, it has a star-shaped divine light and cross, which are symbolized as the sun uh, coming over the horizon. Um, so again, guys, uh, the symbol, that's why I believe Barack Obama is the beast of revelation, because his symbol was the rising sun. Um, other than the fact that he has 666 all over the place. Um, in, in modern uh, uh, modern times, guys, the sun would die in three days and three nights later, it would rise. It's the worship of Tammuz, the same worship the Babylonians, the Assyrians. Uh, the image of the cross is the headband of the sun god Tammuz, shows the cross uh, uh, where it originated from in Babylon. You know, Jesus died on the cross for us, but uh, the, the real thing that's you know understand that uh, uh, there's two there's mystery babylon which is a counterfeit and then there's the true and living god which is the word of god um so today guys as we go into uh, what, we, what christians call christmas it's really bell worship guys it's the worship of the sun this is the worship of saul and victus it's an illumina lottery holiday you know guys there's various forms of sun worship every culture had it an obelisk, you'll see it, it's in St. Peter's Square, in front of the churches. By the way, if you, the Washington Monument is 555 feet, which is 6,666 inches. Um, you know, uh, we have an obelisk at the pantheons of, of gods. We have obelisks. Uh, remember, guys, this is really what you worship, right here, uh, the sun god. You know, you can make an excuses that there's a cross on top of the obelisk, uh, that the cross conquered the obelisk, that the, the word of God conquered paganism. Um, but why would you have all this in front of churches, guys? Why would you have this? This is a vestige of idolatry. Uh, it's it's the paganism in our, in our modern cultures, guys. Um, uh, the judgment of God is coming because we have fallen away. And instead of teaching people the truth about, you know, not worshiping the sun and the moon and the false gods, we go ahead and we uh, we, we bring in the Christmas trees. We bring, you know, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 8, verse 13, he said unto me, Turn these uh, away again. Uh, Turn ye again, and thou shalt see a greater abomination. They brought me to the Lord's temple, and they found out they were worshiping Tamas, O son of man. You know, do you see how great the, uh, the the falling away has happened? This is where the book of Ezekiel talks about how the church has fallen away from God and they worship the sun towards the east. Remember, guys, all Catholic churches, most churches are, are, are built towards the rising sun. Uh, they worship the porch and the altar. 
Um, guys, uh, the Holy Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 19, uh, talks about uh, the falling away uh, that is happening today, guys. People don't care. People don't say, you know, and when your eyes are lifted up to heaven and you see the sun and the moon and the stars and all the armies of heaven, do not let yourself be moved to give them worship or become the servants of the Lord has given equally to all people under heaven. So the Lord says, hey, be careful that you don't find yourself worshiping the sun and the moon, uh, the, you know, the, the the, the, the greater lights by, by, by day and the lesser lights by night. You, you, you have to understand that what's happening, uh, in the world. You know, guys, uh, there's a great uh, deception happening in, in most of our churches today, guys, from, from, from speaking, uh, and rolling around like a dog and barking and all these other things. You know, uh, what we're seeing, guys, uh, today is the shortest day of the year. It's the day that the old paganism used to believe that the Pathions of gods were dying. So they would have a celebration uh, and, and they would honor, uh, you know, the, the, the gods of the Babylonians, the, the gods of uh, the, the Persians, the gods of the Romans. You know, the, t today uh, uh, it was the day of the unconquered sun, the day of Ra, the day of soul invictus um all these things happen guys and all we did was the god they worshiped we call it jesus that's how crazy it is guys it's paganism with the christian mask so if you understand what's happening if you understand the truths you know today uh, you'll see a, a lot of people gathering at uh, at many uh places around the world uh, from england to the you know the headstones and um from from uh, uh, all over the place guys uh, it's an ugly truth this is an ugly truth that we all must uh, understand that uh, the earth's uh, traditions of men are falling away from the word of god and end up worshiping the creation rather than the creator it's an illuminati illuminati holiday to satan this is what's happening guys you if you want to you, you're bringing in a, a pyramid a christmas tree with an angel on top you know to not be deceived that satan himself be considered an angel of light uh you know guys uh, this is uh, the beginning of uh, of why God, you know, God has given the church many, many years to repent, to turn away from the idolatry and the worship of Baal and, and false gods. And, you know, by the way, guys, the Eucharist is cannibalism. You're eating God. Uh, cannibal, ball, cannibalism is the word Baal in there, ball. It's the worship of, uh, and, in the, and in the Eucharist is, is, is a circle like the sun, just like you have the sun behind uh, all the saints, you know, that shall, thou shall have no other gods before me, guys. And w when you're worshiping uh, false gods, whether you call it the Eucharist, whether you call it the saints, whether you call it Mary, um, this is all tied together to Mystery Babylon, the worship of other gods and the worship of Satan and his fallen demons, guys. We have to understand that there's a battle uh, behind the scenes for the souls of men. You know, guys, just like Jesus died, uh, three days and three nights he was in the heart of the earth and he resurrected uh, during the resurrection the sun dies today december 21st and three days three nights from now it's it, it's the morning of december 25th and it's you know most a lot of catholics which I, I was born again as a catholic um end up worshiping uh the sun and the moon or going to sunrise service you know we got to be careful guys. We got to be about the father's business. We got to tell people the truth I don't want I don't need no money. I don't want no money I don't want anything from anybody other to tell them that that the celebration of the birth of Christ is really the celebration of the Sun Baal and You're giving your you're giving gifts to each other, but you're not you know God doesn't want you to celebrate his birth He wants you to celebrate your birth because you must be born again You must receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior Everything behind us, guys, is Illuminati, Illumination, Illuminati, uh, controlling the, the airwaves, controlling the TVs, controlling everything, guys. Um, don't be deceived by, by Satan's, um, Satan's lies. And just understand that 
There's sun worship in our church, guys. You know, and the Vatican, by, by the way, guys, the word Vatican means divine serpent. You know, if you if you would ever go to the Vatican, you'll realize that a, a lot of it is uh, sun worship, guys. You know, did you did you uh, did you ever notice that the monstrous, also known as the Eucharist, is a sunburst? Uh, you know, guys. Uh, problem is that no one cares, guys. So, you know, there's understand that this is the the worship of the solar cults. Remember, it all started in, in Mystery Babylon, of uh, the worship of Nimrod. Remember, Christmas is really Nimrod's birthday. Go look it up. When is Nimrod's birthday? You'll see it's December 25th, who later become uh, the sun god. Um, and he had a, a child named Tum Tumas. You know, there's a lot of s sun symbolism in our cultures. You know, if you, if you were to look at... Uh, uh, the truth of, uh, you know, if, if you walk into the Catholic churches, you'll see religious beliefs and practices like the sunglass mirrors, the sunglass, you know, the, the, the sun comes through the glass, stained glass windows are really, the, it's the sun giving them the power to, of pictures of, uh, of, uh, if you go walk into the cathedrals, you'll see that, you know, the, the sun, uh, how the, the the worship of different deities. Remember, this 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 is uh, all coming from the Egyptians that believed the sun god Ra was the source of all life. He was the creator of the world. He was divine. He gave light and warmth to the earth. Um, that's what the great pyramids are built. That's why in all seeing eye, remember, guys, the rising, the setting of the sun were seen as a daily cycle of death and rebirth symbolizing the eternal cycle of life and death. Remember guys, Ra was often depicted as a falcon-headed man with the sun disk on his head and wearing a double crown in Upper Lower Egypt, symbolizing the authority over the entire country. Look at our dollar bill. You'll see the power before, behind, before, behind the all-seeing eyes of the sun, guys. And Pharaoh was seen uh, as an earthly representative uh, of, uh, of, of the sun god, of the sun mythology. Remember, guys, uh, supposedly he would travel millions and millions of years through a solar bodge, a funerary bodge, when they died. You know, they would put a coin on your eyes or to pay the pharaoh. Uh, remember, Ra would go through the underworld uh, where he would battle with the serpent, the god Opelifus, to ensure that the sun would rise again in ancient Egypt. Uh, so, well, right now we're following is the pattern. You know, remember... The Egyptians had the temple of Uman Ra in Karak, uh, in ancient Egypt, dedicated to the sun. Uh, the Vatican has dedicated the obelisks to the sun. Um, we built temples. If you go down here to our uh, graveyards, there's there's symbols or there's obelisks in our graveyard. These are all temple. Uh, these are all pillars to uh, the sun god. Uh, Baal, Ra, Nimrod. Um, so, uh, again, guys, knowing the history uh, behind us, you know, we have to understand that there's Babylonian demonic influence that have evolved over time and has merged with Christianity. Um, remember, the, the god Horus and the god Amon became one. Um, so, again, guys, we're heading into the end times. I believe Barack Obama is going to be the beast of revelation. He has, uh, the, remember, even the Incas had their sun god. Uh, uh, every deity believed that the sun was a source of life. Remember, the, the Indian Incas used to sacrifice a, a virgin at the top of a pyramid to uh, uh, the creator god, Varacocha. Remember, he, he was often depicted as a golden disc with a human face. That's why I always laugh when I pass by houses and I see the sun with the face on there because I know that's, that's a powerful influence from Mystery Babylon. Um, but this would happen again uh, because the Incas wanted prosperity, you know, wanted a, a good harvest. 
Um, remember, remember, guys, even the Inca emperors believed to be descended from Inti, uh, the, the sun god, because the Inca people believed in the mountainous region with limited arable land was of critical importance to their survival. Initi was seen as the god of our culture, and his blessings were thought to ensure a bountiful harvest. So, guys, every culture we've gone in, uh, you know, remember the Incas introduced it, human sacrifice was was a blessing uh, for, to the god Inca that would give us uh, a better harvest. You know, during crises of war, crises of hardship, they would they would um, sacrifice more people. Toward, towards a God. So guys, everything we're seeing behind the scenes have been borrowed from the, the Babylonians, um, uh, from uh, Persia, from Babylon, from Egypt, from the Romans. They all worship the sun God, guys. They would all have uh, the, the day of the unconquered sun, the day of, uh, of, of, of uh, the rebirth of the sun, um, uh, we have many temples today that we call Catholic and Christian churches that are really just temples to uh, the sun god. And then now we're even worshiping uh, and bringing in Christmas trees and Christmas lights and all these things are uh, are done. Even, even Santa Claus, guys, again, it's a picture. It's really Nimrod. Um, it's really Satan. Old Nick, Saint Nick. In Europe, they used to call the devil Old Nick. So again, guys, uh, these all these decorations, all these things around us, all these Christian holidays and Christian mu music is really devil worship, devil music, devil uh, uh, holiday. So uh, understand uh, the Romans uh, made it to, in 264 A.D. Uh, Caesar made it uh, an official holiday to worship the sun. Um, their emblem was the sun, guys. That's the on their coins was the sun. If you look at police departments, guys, their emblem is their sun. Uh, there's really a spiritual battle happening behind the scenes, guys, for the souls of men. Um, you have to understand that that right now the the worship of of the sun god is really Bell worship. The worship of Mary is really Samaramas worship. You know, all these rituals are in prayers. Uh, our, you know, Christmas is one of the most important festivals in honor of Helios uh, during the winter solstice. During this festival, devotees would light bonfires and candles to symbolize the rebirth of the sun and the return of longer days. They would also offer gifts to Helios, such as wreaths of st or statues, and participate in processions or other public workup. Remember guys, in Hinduism, Sura and the ancient god of the sun, he is considered one of the most important deities in Hindu pantheons. Uh, he is depicted as a radiant young man riding a chariot pulled by seven horses or sometimes a single horse with seven heads. In Hindu mythology, Sur Surya is believed to be the source of all life and energy of the earth. He is also associated with knowledge, enlightenment, and spiritual awakenings. Remember guys, these are all, this is Mystery Babylon. Syria is often depicted holding a lotus flower with a chakra. Again, a picture of birth and rebirth. Uh, in the Hindu culture for thousands of years, Hindus offer prayers and perform rituals to honor the sun god, often at sunrise and Sunset. Most of these most important festivals dedicated to Sura include Makar, Saranki, Puja, which is celebrated in different parts of India. Uh, during Makar, Sakruti, Hindus offer prayers to Sura and take a ritual bath in the Ganges River. The festival marks the end of the winter solstice and the beginning of longer days. And it is considered an auspicious time and new beginnings and spiritual growth both in the Tanarak, the Sun Temple in Odisha, and the Arasevya Sun Temple of Hindu temples are dedicated to Sira, the god of the sun. 
in Tonkara Sun Temple, located in the town of Konaka in Odisha, is one of the most famous sun temples in India. It was built in 13th century by the King Narashihahada, and lots of Eastern Ganga dynasties is considered a masterpiece of ancient Indian architecture. The temple is designed in the shape of a giant chariot and 12 pairs representing the 12 months of the year. That's what we're seeing today, guys. The Earth's orbit around the sun, the zodiac, the worship of the sun, the worship of uh, of the sun god, whether you call it Christianity. Remember, the Aztecs used to call it Hatsukapuchi. Uh, and used, they used to also do human sacrifice to the sun god. It's the sun worship is everywhere, guys. It's everywhere. What, what can we do as Christians? We, we have to expose what's happening. You know, uh, they were founded, their capital city of Kachichuchi, born fully grown and fully armed from birth. Uh, these are from our relatives, the Incas, the Aztecs. Um, remember, uh, she, in the Aztecs, she, the mother was impregnated by the son and was and the child was born as an adult. And, you know, the Aztecs believed that Huchipuchi needed to be appeased through human sacrifice in order to keep the sun moving across the sky and ensure a continued existence of the world. The Aztecs would offer prisoners of war and other captives as sacrifices to Huchipuchi, often by cutting off their hearts and offering them to their god. Hoitzapuchi was also associated with the Aztec calendar, which was based on the movements of the sun. Aztecs believed that each day was ruled by a different deity, and Hichipuchi was the patron of the 13th day period known as, whoa, that's a big word. Uh, so guys, uh, everything we see around us, guys, there's enough evidence to show us that, that Christmas is sun worship. You know, the temples in Aztecs were the largest and the most important religious structures in the world. The scriptures depicted Hutsipuchi, I'm not saying that right, uh, with other Aztec gods. The symbol of the sun is often associated with power, warmth, light, and vitality. It is common motif in many cultures around the world that has played an important role in religion, mythology, and the art of thousands and thousands of years. One of the most interesting aspects of the cults of the sun is the enduring popularity uh, throughout history. Despite the rise and the fall of different civilizations, the religions and the worship of the sun has continued and persisted in many parts of the world, often blending with other religious and cultural uh, practices to create a unique syncretic tradition. Even today, many people around the world continue to find spiritual significance in the sun. Whether through meditation, whether through yoga, whether through the worship of Christmas, uh, they, uh, they worship the sun and they take no heed to the warnings in the Bible of not uh, being led astray not being uh, moved by uh, the false gods in today's society. So guys, it's not easy to tell you this, but uh, if you find yourself worshiping uh, the sun and the moon, Christmas and Easter, uh, when the Antichrist comes, who I believe is going to be Obama, uh, because of the numbers and because the clues God gave me, um, and his symbol, the logo, the rising sun, he's just going to pull the, all those whose names were not written in the Lamb's Book of Life to worship the beast in his image. His image. I believe his image is either going to be the sun or a lightning bolt. Remember the word Barak means lightning. Hebrew Concordance 1300. So, uh, again guys, I hope today's morning message encourages you uh, to... To notice that the that that the sun is really a, 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 a Christmas is really the worship of all religions, whether it be the Hindus, whether it be uh, the Romans, whether it be the Persians, whether it be the Babylonians, whether it be uh, all these uh, Aztecs, uh, the Incas, the Hindus. 
the earth is orbiting the sun. And today is the shortest day of the year, the farthest away from the sun, which is really a luminosity, luminosity holiday. Uh, and I hope, guys, all these uh, all these temples were all temples to the sun god, or bell shaft, or the obelisk. You know, I hope. Uh, uh, remember, guys, the obelisk, the height of the obelisk is 555 feet, Washington Monument which is 6,666 inches. The width is 55.5 feet, which is 666 feet, inches. The word Christ in the Bible, King James, is, worship, is mentioned 555 times. A false Christ must have a real number to 555. So we know that 555 is the coming of the beast of Revelation. Another clue, if you calculate the day Obama was born to the day he left office, he was 55 years old, 5 months and 16 days. 555. Five, five. Remember, 16 is a principality number. 16 and 16 make 32, making uh, good and evil. 16 and 16, black and white. 16 white, 16 black, added together, 32, making the sun or the obelisk or the all-seeing eye the 33rd. Uh, again, guys, these are demonic. Remember Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Jesus said, I behold Satan as lightning fall from heaven. The word uh, lightning, the word lightning is the word Barak. And then heaven is concordance number 1116, which is with Obama. So God said in the Bible, I behold Satan as Barack Obama by name. Look it up. Concordance number 1300. Oh, by the way, if you go to Concordance 1300 and add 666 to Hebrew Concordance number, you get the word uh, Hebrew Concordance 1966, which is the word Hillel, which is the word Lucifer. So I believe uh, as we go into the end times and the world economy collapses, uh, they bring in the Ten Kings. They'll ask Obama to ru rule with them, to be the world leader. Um, uh, he, he's been ordained. He's been ordained to be the world leader. There's nothing you could do about it. Um, but understand that this is the, the the beast of revelation, the worship of the sun, the worship of Christmas, the worship of the Antichrist, the worship of all these things are just God's judgment on a, a Christ-rejecting world. They reject the word of God. They reject uh, the truth of the word of the Bible. So God is going to bring in judgments, and I hope, guys, you you don't find yourself um, uh, rejecting the very word of God that's able to save you uh, as we head into the end day. So may the Lord bless you, be girded, be strengthened. The Lord is coming; He's coming quickly. You know, you know, most people who don't know the truth because they're unenlightened. And the unenlightened, the enlightened people know that uh, their job, or the God's, or Satan's minions, God, small g, and his minions, propagate false religion to enslave the world on the broad road to destruction. In the nombre de Jesucristo.